Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this beautiful um, kimono style hexagon cardigan. It features a belt. I really, really love it. And this cardigan comes in sizes S to triple XL. As always, the free pattern will be available on my blog, selinaveronique.com. The link will be in the down bar. And um, it's a very easy project. As you can see, it features the hexagon granny stitch. So I will be demonstrating size S, but you can follow along for any size. Just refer back to my free pattern, like I said, just to know the number of rows and rounds that you will need. But you can follow along on my video, um, whichever size you decide to make. So for this project, I use Mandala Yarn by Lion Brand Yarns. Um, I will be linking all of my supplies in the description box. So for size S, I think I used um, two skeins of Mandala yarn and then I also used um, one skein of Bernat Softy Baby in shade Antique White. Like I said, everything will be linked in the down bar. I also used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors and that's it and um, I will be speaking in US terms with British terms in brackets and if you would like more feminine crochet content um, don't forget to head over to my Patreon page the link is in the down bar create a slip knot once you've created your slip knot just pop your hook through and chain five one two three four and five and once you've chained five you are going to be slip stitching in the first chain to close your ring so just go ahead and do that and now you are going to be chaining three so one two and three and this counts as your first double crochet and what we are going to be doing is placing two more double crochets into this center right here so just wrap your yarn around your hook go into um, the center pull up a loop you've got three loops on your hook pull through two loops and pull through two loops and now you are going to go back into this center and place another double crochet into that and there we go and I'm um, tidying up my loose end as I go along and what you can see is that we now have three double crochets because this first double crochet counts as a um, this chain three, sorry, counts as our first double crochet. What we are going to be doing now is chaining three. So one, two, and three. And we are going to be going back into the center and placing three more double crochets into that. So um, go on and place three double crochets into um, the center. One, two, and three. And we have another cluster of double crochets. We are simply going to be chaining three, one, two and three and placing another cluster of three double crochets into this center so just go ahead and do that and we are going to be repeating um this process of um three double crochets chain three until we have um six clusters of double crochets total so just scrunch up these um, double crochets like so 
and now we've got three clusters one two three and you are simply going to be chaining three again and placing another cluster of three double crochets another three times and once we finished um, the six clusters I'll get back to you to show you what to do so just so I'm back and I finished my cluster of uh, my six clusters so one two three four five and six and they have got three chains to separate them I've just created a chain three right here um, to finish off this round so that's what you should be doing finishing off on a chain three and now we are going to be connecting to um, the chain three that we started with so just slip stitch so pop your hook through and pull through and pull through and there we go we've got um, the beginning of our hexagonal um, round so now I'm just going to show you round two. So for round two, you are going to chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. And obviously this counts as our first um, double crochet. And we are going to go directly into this space right here and place two more double crochets. So just go ahead and place two double crochets and another like so and because this is our corner so this will become a lot clearer as we carry on with the rounds but for now this is our corner and it will be our corner throughout so when you are in a corner like now chain three one two and three and go back into that space and place another cluster of three double crochets so just go ahead and place another cluster of three double crochets like so and what we are going to be doing is um, going into the next um, chain space here but before we do that we are going to be so we are going to be chaining one so chain one and go directly into the next corner so again this is going to make a lot more sense as we go along but just note that we will always have six corners um, within this project so this is another corner so directly go into that and place three double crochets oops so three double crochets, chain three, one, two and three and another cluster inside that same space. Just go ahead and place another three double crochets. As you can see, this is a very repetitive pattern. So there we go. Our hexagon is um, growing. And what we are going to be doing now is the exact same that I've just showed you. So just chain one and go directly into the next space and place three double crochets. chain three one two and three and three double crochets and just do this until um, you reach the beginning of this round that we started so I'm just going to finish this cluster chain one and then go into the next so then go into the next three um, spaces so one two and three and repeat this process and I'll meet you back here to show you how to finish off this round. So I've almost finished this round and what I am going to be doing to close off this round is chain one so just go ahead and chain one and slip stitch to that first chain like so and there we go 
um, our second round is complete. And now you can see that we not only have corners like this one or that one, we also have spaces in between the corners. So this is how um, these spaces are going to there are going to be more and more of those spaces as the project grows. So now just chain three, one, two and three, turn your work and because this is a center um, space and not a corner, we are simply going to be adding just two double crochets. So we're just going to add two extra double crochets into this space and that creates um, our cluster of three and now we are going to be chaining one and here we go we um, we are have reached a corner once again so again every time you reach a corner you are going to be placing three double crochets chain three, one, two and three and place another three double crochets into the space. One, two and three. And um, chain one, so chain one and go into the next space and place three double crochets into that. So one, two and three. Okay, so we've placed a um, cluster of three and we are going to be chaining one and going directly into the next corner and placing um, three double crochets, chain three, one, two and three and another three double crochets in that space. So one, two and three. Chain one, go into the center space and place just one cluster of three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain one, and now we've reached a corner. So I'm just gonna let you carry this on. So every time you reach a corner, place a cluster of three, chain three, and a cluster of three double crochets. Chain one, go into the center with just three double crochets, chain one, and in the corner, and repeat, and I'll show you how to finish off this round. So I've just finished um, this round practically, and I've just finished this corner, so I'm just gonna chain one, like so, and then slip stitch to the first chain three that we did. So just go ahead and slip stitch through that. And there we go, we finished our round. So as you can see, it really is taking the shape that we want it to take. So now we are going to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. And this is going to be um, one of our center um, spaces. As you can see, we are going to be getting more and more center spaces, like I call them. So here's one and here's one. So we're just going to work into that one for now and just place two more double crochets into um, this space, like so. And now chain one and go into um, the next um, stitch. And this is our corner. So again, for each corner, it's going to be the exact same thing. So um, three double crochets and chain three, one, two and three and three double crochets into that same 
center, chain one, and now we are going to be working in um, this stitch where we will be placing just one cluster of three double crochets into that. Chain one <clears throat> and place another cluster of three double crochets, two and three. So these are again our center spaces as I call them, chain one and now we've reached a corner. So again we're just going to be placing three double crochets into that, two and three and chain three, one, two, three and go back into that space and place three double crochets into that. Chain one and place a cluster of three double crochets into the next stitch like this and the third chain one. So I'm just going to let you carry this on so in the next um, space it will be simply a cluster of three double crochets in that, then chain one, three double crochets in that corner, chain three, three double crochets, chain one, go into um, the next space, chain one, uh, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, and then the corner again, and so on. And I'm just gonna let you carry this on when you reach um, the beginning of this round. You will be, of course, chaining one and slip stitching to the first chain three that we did. Okay. Okay, so I've placed my cardigan like this, as you can see, and we are going to be um, sewing from this point all the way across up to the other side, obviously um, making sure our project is nice and symmetrical. And I'm just going to show you how to sew it in. Okay, so like I just showed you on the short video that I just filmed, um, it's difficult to show here on um, this camera because of the size of the project, but I am going to start sewing this together. And I've just attached my yarn at the top corner here. And now, I am going to be using the mattress stitch, so as you can see, um, this is just for the purpose of this video, I don't recommend you sew um, your project in like so, um, as I think that you should um, sew it with the project lying flat, but this is just so you can see the stitch. So the mattress stitch is just going in one side and then directly into the other side like this so as to create a more seamless stitch. So just do this like I showed you from one side of the project right across to the other side like I showed you in the short video on my phone and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so now that we've finished sewing the top here, we are going to be um, sewing the back seam. So I am simply going to be attaching my yarn here at the top and sewing these two parts in at the back. As you can see, this is the front panel and we are going to be sewing both back panels together. So just go ahead and do this and then I'll meet you back after. Okay, so I finished um, sewing the back seam as you can see and now I'm going to start um, crocheting my sleeve cuffs 
and we are going to um, keep the cuffs um, wide so we are not going to be tightening the cuffs so just attach so now we are going to be using a burnout yarn in shade antique white um, again everything is listed in the down bar so I'm just going to attach this yarn to the project and I'm still using my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook chain one and this does not count as a stitch okay so I've chained one which like I say does not count as a stitch and we are going to be placing a single crochet inside that first stitch so to create your single crochet just place your hook directly into the stitch pull up a loop we have two loops on the hook take your yarn and pull through two loops and now go into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and into the next stitch with a single crochet and just go into each and every stitch across with a single crochet um, until you reach the end of this round and as you can see I'm sewing in my loose end as I go so just carry on doing this until the end of this round and I'll meet you once again okay so I've almost finished this round and to finish off this round you have to slip stitch through the first um, single crochet that we made and this finishes off the first round of single crochets and for round two chain one and this does not count as a stitch go into the same stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch with a single crochet and just go ahead and place a, another row of single crochets all the way along this sleeve okay so I finished the row that I was showing you and then I repeated that same row three more times so that we have five rows of single crochets in total and now I'm simply going to be fastening off so I'm just going to fasten off and pull this through the loop to create a knot and this is one sleeve done and now just repeat the same process on the other sleeve and then I'll show you what to do after that okay so I'm back and um, I finished both of my sleeves as you can see so I've done both of my sleeves and I am going to show you now briefly how to do the bottom edging so what I mean by the bottom edging so this is a cardigan as you can see and the bottom edging is this part here and so we are going to be starting on either side so either this side or the other side and we are going to be creating the same exact pattern row after row of single crochets um, on this edge and instead of going in the rounds we will be going from side to side creating rows and so we will be starting on this side and going all the way at the back here and then at the front here and then once we've reached this side go back on the other side and so um, I've already created two rows of single crochets I am going to show you how to create um, the next row because it simply is the very same row um, crocheted over and over so I thought I'd take a bit of advance on my project and we will be needing 10 rows in total so to create your row you will chain one and work on this side so 
I'm trying to show you as best I can go um, so for once this chain one counts as a stitch for this part and it counts as your first single crochet and you are going to go directly into the second stitch with a single crochet and then into the next stitch with a single crochet and the next stitch and just um, like I say place a single crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the other side of the cardigan and just repeat this um, row until you have 10 rows of single crochets in total. Okay so I've um, finished the bottom edging which was actually six rows so you should have your six rows of single crochets at the bottom and now we have not fastened off but what we are going to be doing is working on the front opening of this cardigan so as you can see we finished the bottom edging and we are simply going to be working on the front opening so we are going to be placing our first row I'll show you in more detail but just up and then here and then down again on the other side and down again onto the very bottom of the other side so that's what we are going to be doing now and so to do this you are going to be turning your work like so I'm just going to zoom in so that it's easier to see what I'm doing and so this is the wrong side of the stitches so to begin chain one this does not count as a stitch and then place a single crochet into the next space and like I said this is the wrong side of the stitches at least for this part so for this edging part just go ahead and place a single crochet along this edging evenly because this is the row side for this edging the bottom edging part so that's what I've done and now we've reached the um, front opening and we are going to be placing a single crochet into each and every stitch including the chain spaces um, from the hexagon pattern so just go ahead and place a single crochet all across this front opening up until you reach the other side, bottom side and then I'll show you how to finish off row one and then I'll show you row two. So I've just finished row one and what I am going to be doing is row two so as you can see I've gone all the way down including the border I'm just going to zoom in slightly and so for row two you are going to be chaining three one two and three and this counts as your first double crochet with this first stitch and so place a double crochet into the next stitch like so and another double crochet into the next stitch and just place a double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the other side and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to crochet your belt so it's really easy, I am demonstrating with this shade of yarn because that's just what I have at hand at the moment but you will be using Burnout Softy Baby in shade Antique White so create a slip knot, pop your hook through and tighten 
and you will be chaining seven. So just go ahead and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you have seven um, chains, you will be um, placing a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So let me just zoom in a tiny bit more. There we go. So count one, two, three, and go into that chain with a half double crochet. So wrap your yarn around your hook, go into the chain, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook and take your yarn and pull through all three loops. And now go into the next chain with a half double crochet. And the first chain two counts as a half double crochet also. And so just go ahead and place a half double crochet into each and every um, chain across until you reach the end of this um, row like this. And now for row two, just chain two, one and two, and this counts as a half double crochet with this first stitch here. Go directly into the second stitch with a half double crochet and then place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across and don't forget the um, chain two from the beginning. So just go ahead and place a half double crochet into that chain two and just repeat um, this row. So row two until you have 212 rows for size S and then um, for size S and for size M and you will have 232 rows for size L and size XL and 242 rows for XXL and triple XL. All of the details are in my um, pattern. And so I'll let you carry on once you've finished, fastened off, tidy up your loose ends and that will be your belt. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And I just forgot to say that um, for the front um, edging, all I did was go all the way down with my double crochet row and then I fastened off and then tidied up my loose end. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.